Security Monitor Pro turns your PC and one or more cameras into a complete security system. We'll start by explaining the Security Monitor Pro window. The multi-camera preview window shows you a live view from one or more cameras. You can configure this to show two, three, or four cameras at a time. The camera thumbnails window shows miniature previews from every camera. Double click on one of the thumbnails to open it in the multi-camera preview window. The monitoring controls let you quickly change the settings for the most frequently used features. The log area lets you view the event log or view video and photos recorded by Security Monitor Pro. To begin using Security Monitor Pro, you must add at least one camera. To add a camera, click File, then Add Camera. Select the type of camera to add. For an IP camera, select your camera model from the list. Enter the camera's IP address and port number. You can use this method to add multiple cameras. In Security Monitor Pro, each camera has its own alert settings. To change a camera's alert settings, select a camera by clicking on its window in the preview, then click the Tools menu, Camera Monitoring Options, and then Monitoring. Each alert has its own options that you can change by clicking Configure. Video Audio Recording creates files in Windows Media Video Format. You can change these settings to fit your requirements. Security Monitor Pro can send email with a photo of the triggering event when motion is detected. To do this, you will need to first configure mail settings. You can get the name of the outgoing mail server and the proper values for the other settings from your Internet service provider. Click Send Test Email to test whether your settings are correct. If your mobile phone service allows it, you can send these alerts to your phone as text messages. Most providers offer an email address, like, your number, at cellphonecompany.com, which will be forwarded to your mobile phone. You can also configure Security Monitor Pro, to take still pictures, sound an audible alarm, and launch another program, whenever motion, is detected. To adjust the motion or noise sensitivity, click Tools Camera Monitoring Options and switch to Monitoring tab. If you want alerts to monitor the slightest sound or movements, increase the sensitivity level. If you get false alarms for small voices or movements, decrease settings. In state of using motion detection you can select after every 5 minutes or regular intervals. For instance to record video for every 5 minutes use this setting. If there is an object or area in the camera view that should not trigger alerts, you can mask it. For instance, if there is a window through which you can see the sidewalk, motion seen through that window is not a sign of intruders and should not trigger alerts. To mask a camera, select it, then click Tools, Mask. Drag and resize the mask to cover the appropriate area. To remove the mask, click Tools, Unmask. You can mask any or all cameras, and each camera has its own masking settings. Each camera can be assigned its own schedule, telling it when to start and stop monitoring. To schedule a camera, select it, then click Tools, Camera Monitoring Options, and switch to the Scheduler tab. To schedule a device, check Enable Scheduler. You can schedule monitoring either daily, weekly, or once. If you choose, once, the camera will be switched on, only one time, on a specific date. If you choose, daily, monitoring will start at the same time every day. If you choose, 
Weekly, you can set different schedules for every day of the week. For instance, you can select different start times on weekdays, Saturday, and Sunday. You can set a stop time for each start time, but it is not required. You can also schedule multiple start and stop times for each day. Click Start Monitoring with Alerts Pause equal 0.01 to begin monitoring. Select which cameras to begin monitoring and click Start Monitoring with Alerts. When monitoring, the alerts you configured will be triggered, either by motion and noise, or at regular intervals. To continuously record video, click, Start Recording. The Recordings tab shows all the recordings that Security Monitor Pro has made. You can preview any recording by double-clicking on it. Security Monitor Pro can broadcast live audio and video, which can be watched using any computer on the network. To configure broadcasting, click Tools, Camera Monitoring Options, and Broadcasting. To start broadcasting, click the Start Broadcasting button. Choose the cameras you would like to broadcast from, and click Start Broadcasting. You can view the broadcast stream using the Windows Media Player. You can upload all your recordings to a server, using FTP. To configure FTP, click Tools, Application Settings, and Remote Monitoring. Click the Configure button for Upload. Complete the form, then click, Test Connection. You can choose to upload video recordings, photos, or both. If you enable automatic upload, all recordings will be uploaded. If you do not, you will have to start uploading manually. To start manually, click Tools, Start Uploading. Uncheck any cameras if you do not wish to upload their recordings, then click OK. This concludes the Security Monitor Pro tutorial. You can find more information about using the program in the resources area of DeskShare.com.